I want to get back to working on virus blokes so I can put references to all the the silly stuff that's going on in the game world. Buy some virus tokens now and you can make your attacks do more damage. But then something funny happens that I haven't thought of yet. But anyway, the Vagrant. Some kind of 2D action-y game by the look of it. Lunatic? Oh, it's one of those hard games, is it? Yeah. I guess that would work. V-Bucks. Vivian. Wasn't there... Isn't that the name of the character in Castlevania Circle of the Moon? I think so. What could this book have to do with my father's disappearance? This young sellsword Vivian is on a journey to the place her father was last seen, Mithrilia. Risk of Rain? Oh yeah. I should try that again someday. I played it for a little while, but I didn't play it quite long enough to really get into it and understand it. It was like, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, I'll play this again someday, but then I never did. I think it was also quite hard, wasn't it? Bonjour, mademoiselle. <coughs> what? Who are you? Handyman. It is sad to see. But, wah! Exploding face of puff. Obsession too often leads to destruction. How did you get here? Yeah, it's always looking for missing... missing parent or something. And then probably when you return home the village has been burned down. If that's what you mean about the every blonde anime character anyway. Your struggles and suffering will be your only rewards. What, what are you saying? Are you threatening me? Now, dance with the tempest, embrace your destiny. Oh yeah, I think Hotline Miami is on the trying various games list as well somewhere. That would be fun. Oh, it even looks like Castlevania, kind of. Oh, he's pretty sexy. No, he's a bird. Oop. Finally, a game in today's trying various games that actually looks like I might enjoy it. Oh, so here we are playing Bloodstained Circle of the Moon, or no, Ritual of the Night, wasn't it? Dark Souls. Turn it up. Hang on guys, turn it up. There we go. Oh, I can't dodge through a shield. Yeah. As much as I like anime, it is sometimes hard to find one that stands out. Although I say that, but I'm I'm a weird person. Oh. Is that a skill tree? Oh, I am a weird person who actually likes sword art online. Like, I get people's complaints about Kirito. He is very generic and, I guess, Mary Sue-ish, as people say. Like, he's one of those characters that always wins because he has no flaws or something. But sometimes that's all you need, just an adventure. With swords and stuff. But I guess it takes the right kind of mood. Sometimes you want something a bit deeper. Unlock a perk. Unlock perks with star icons first. I guess. I'm watching the third series at the moment. It's pretty good, I reckon. But maybe not quite on the level of the first se series yet. Season. Oh yeah, Guts is still cooler. But Kirito has the voice of Adol. Where did this storm come from? I've never seen anything like it. I'm not sure I'll make it out of this. 
The ship was torn apart by the raging storm, and through and though Vivian struggled valiantly to survive, the roaring seas won the battle. Oh, she died. Oh yeah, I've been hearing about Rise of the Shield Hero. Should watch that as well. Yeah. He talks about how much strength he has. The glow of the sun upon the land signalled the end of the great storm and woke Vivian with its comforting rays. <coughs> Finally land! Thank the heavens that I still have my sword! Top-notch voice acting, if I do say so. No! It's like that Dungeons and Dragons game, but she's got slightly less giant boobs. Help! I'll try. Help, you're not the only one who needs it. I can still move, albeit with a bit of pain. But if I don't get something to eat soon, eat yourself. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's girl. Help, ah, it's gonna bite me, it's gonna tear me apart! Speaking of Bloodborne, Got a boar now to shove my arm up the arse of. A slice of life can be good, although a lot of those are a bit too similar for me as well. I've been watching Abenobashi lately, however you say it, which is a kind of over the top silly comedy thing. I don't know if that would be considered slice of life. Probably not, but that's been fun. Scree! I don't remember the buttons. E. Chop the girl. Thank you, kind lady. I would have met my end were it not for you. If it were not for you. I'm making her more old time talky than she is. My name is Lucia. I'm Vivian. Where am I? Where is this place? You're in Broccoli Village. Ugh. Of course. Where is it that you come from, Vivian? You're quite wet. Oh, is it a wet place? I was in a horrible storm. You had to have seen it. My ship crashed and I woke here. You wouldn't be able to spare something to eat, would you? We just killed a boar. Eat that. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll probably give it the three episode rule, like I did for A Little Snow Fairy Sugar, or whatever it was called. That was cringe! Cringe, bro! Of course, my dear, it's the least I could do. You saved my life. You may have lost your ship, but the mermaids must be quite fond of you to bring you here. Please follow me to my home. I would love to have dinner with you. Is she a vampire? Oh yeah, I watched all the Full Metal Panic stuff a long time ago. I think I remember quite liking the the comedy style of Fumofu, but a lot of it can be a bit too over the top for me these days. There was also XL Saga, which was like insane and crazy. I don't know if I'd like that anymore, but that was what I was into back then. Just, just the super random stuff. I understand it may not have been the port you were sailing for, but you're indeed in Mithrilia. And lucky you, this side is much safer compared to the place you're heading to. Works for me, I didn't have any specific plans anyway. Broccoli is a small village, I expect you won't find it too interesting. Good, small means less people to talk to, so more adventure to do. Though I'm sure you'll love Weetorn. Ralph Bluetorn. It's such a huge town. No, I won't then. I've always wanted to visit there. It sounds like such a nice place with so many people. It's a good idea. I think I'll give this wee torn a look. Vivian? Yeah? Can you help me? I can try. i got to stop reading. It's supposed to be just a quick look at, not a proper experience.
Sure, I'll always take some gold. Grab some gear. Game is showing, right? It is. I always par always paranoid that things aren't working as intended, and that I only find out later. But I'm sure someone would have said anyway. She turned into a chest. She already had one, but it grew and expanded. Those are the same thing, and overtook her body. There's too many things assigned to buttons that are all like in the same area of the keyboard. I want to use my right hand for some of it. Can I... can I rebind stuff? I can as well. Left. Right. I guess that works. Maybe, I don't know. Apparently control is non-existent. Heavy attack. Skill. Shift. Wait, no. C. Map. Yep, that works for me. There we go. That feels much better now. Never mind what I said about characters not having as big chests as that Dra Dungeons and Dragons game. They're massive. Um, oops. Oh ho ho ho! Let me put that on a better button. Is from a pot. Uh, massive. Sometimes a bit bigger than I'd usually go for, but hey, look, there's an owl picture. the name of the anime? Why the hell are you here, teacher, despite ha Oh wait, why the hell are you here, teacher? Is probably the name of it, I guess. I hope I do. That would be quite funny. I guess. It's Guts. No, it isn't. Why is there a magical wood behind you? Maybe that'll be an area transition. I oh know it's one of those games where hammering the dodge roll button is faster than actually moving, as in walking. It reminds me a little bit of, well, this anyway reminds me a little bit of um, Valkyrie Profile, but the gameplay itself doesn't. Oh yeah, you can if you want. If I'm missing something, or they only have one line of text. Yom. Hi, bloke. Yes, all right, mate. Oh, there's a cock. I killed the cock. Come back. Am I going to get attacked by chickens? Like Zelda. They do seem to be invulnerable, maybe. Why can I go here? Oh, are you angry? I guess so. Oh, 
I want all the dosh. Sorry, I broke a rock. Sorry, I killed your pig. Take a look at this chick, boys. Did he just say burka? God, what brats. Where's the skill tree? Oh. Yes. Seems like it should be pretty good. Whoa! Rage regain, I don't know what that is. I do love skill trees. I'm planning to put one of these in Forest Bloke 3. Or well, not one of these, but planning to have some skill trees in Virus Bloke 3. Not that I'm ever going to get around to making that. Monsterpedia. Are there lots? It looks like it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess so. But you like Commander Keen, so you're supposed to like platformers. But I guess Commander Keen is just special in some way. Well, not that Hollow Knight isn't special. But yeah, it's understandable. Enhance, enchant. Hmm. It looks like there's quite a lot of stuff in this game. I wonder how long this is on how long to beat. Yeah. Who's that? Some other kid showed up, or maybe I just didn't notice him before. But if you want large skill trees, Path of Exile is the place to go. I don't know if I'll ever play that because I'm not typically into Diablo style games. Or if I am, then I usually don't play them for very long. I tend to get bored of them quite quickly for some reason. I think it just gets too tedious for me sorting out all the loot. Which is strange because I love loot. But I feel like the loot in Diablo games usually tends to be just a bit too much for me. And a lot of it is just, oh, this weapon has one point more damage than my previous one. I'll have that. And it just takes too long to compare them all and stuff. And I can't be asked. Yeah, I've played Torchlight 1. Oh, good. I guess Doom 2016 had kind of skill trees as well in a way. So hopefully... Hopefully Doom Eternal will have some good stuff as well. But yeah, I've played Torchlight 1. I haven't gotten around to 2 yet. Oh, I bet you've got some juicy produce. Oh. Like, I have to really be in the mood for one of those kind of games. Because I'm just too lazy to do all the comparing all the time. Oh no, it's one of those games where I don't know if I should sell these or if I'm going to need them for something. I couldn't imagine I would need copper goblets for crafting or anything like that, but... Maybe. Are you telling me she's got no armor on? Well, I guess she is a bit... Skimply dressed. Yeah. Hello, hello. Please come inside. Sorry. He said it. Wait, she's female. Never mind, it doesn't work. 
Those are some nice jugs you've got there. Your boobs are alright as well. Is this Japanese? I guess it is. Yum. What oh, permanent buff? Oh. Will replaced by. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I guess I guess you get a permanent buff with whatever the last meal you ate was. Counterpart to Haiti. Oh yeah. Quite some massive ones in that as well. It's hard to tell if Haiti actually looks like a good game or if it's just made for the boobs. Like it is quite clearly made for the boobs, but oh, oh, this has got a, a slot on it or something. Guess I haven't got any enchanty stuff yet. Mm. I want that. But it costs 15,000. It's like Ease. But not as good. Yet, anyway. I guess I'll sell that. Before I even know if there's any way to combine weapons or something like that. What do you mean I have an eye for quality? I sold something to you. That means I don't want it. Sorry for breaking your stuff, by the way. Continuously consuming potion will decrease the recovery effects. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't afford it. I guess maybe I can equip that. No, there isn't. Oh yeah, I guess Hady was more about the arse. Either way, I'll probably get that someday and stream it or record it. Because it looks like it might be fun and Tomb Raider-y. What was that? Something fell from the tree. This is also reminding me of Dust and Elysian Tail. Which I really need to get around to. I played it for quite a bit and then I just stopped for some reason, but it's been quite amazing so far from what I've experienced. Alright, bye lady. I'm going on an adventure now. Oh. Stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, they don't need to be bad, but it helps when they are bad. Like near or to no. I don't know how it would help when they are bad. Commentary isn't quite flowing today. I feel very dull. And, like, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. A wolf dropped a fully cooked turkey leg. Wolves here are more intelligent than your average wolves. Why can't I kill you when you're down? Boom. Oh yeah, I'd better say near Automata is bad some more then. You know what's bullshit? Near Automata. It's bullshit how good it is. As in, how can a game that good exist? 
Dodge. There's 2D Dark Souls. What was that? I'm picking up a lot of random stuff. I guess it's just generic money objects. The more specific items have proper names. Like that. I am getting a little bit lost though. Isn't this just where that girl was a minute ago? Yeah, this is back in town again. So what's over here? Is there a, there is a map actually? Oh, Metroidvania-ish maybe-ish. Hopefully that's not the whole map. I want this game to be big, as big as it looks. Because this is cool so far. Games like this, games with this kind of navigation, like Lone Survivor and stuff, where it's all 2D and you go into the background or the foreground to change screens, tend to be a little bit complicated for me, or confusing. Oh! Hard to keep track of where I'm going. Where did you bog off to? But at least it's certainly fun so far. Oh, hello. I guess I should probably stop at some point as well. Even though this is one that I want to keep playing. I'll probably make this the last one as well. Although I do. Uh, maybe I'll do the last one after this. Because there is still another one installed. Oh no, not arranged marriages. Just marry me instead. Let's go on an adventure together. You can be the healer. You look like one. Wizard Academy, can he join me as well? I don't know, this seems like it would probably be a single player thing. As in without any supporting characters in the party. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, since YouTube has introduced a new feature where the video doesn't actually start playing until you click on the video. That'll be, that'll be nice because I can just click the link and open it in the background and then it won't be taking up internet speed while it's loading in the background as well. At least I think that's new. It never used to do it before for me. Cook meals in the campfires. Yum! I don't know anything. Shall we eat a ducky mass? Let's go back to town. I want to eat a fried egg so I can learn how to make one. Because apparently I don't know the ingredients for a fried egg yet. I just need an egg and some fry.
Are these going to be back as well? The little boss type fights? I guess not. Wait. Oh. Huh. I don't know then. Maybe it's after I cleared my Firefox history or settings or whatever I did recently. I might have set it to some kind of weird thing or something. Why does a salad cost so much? I'd rather have the health, I guess. I'll try to enjoy it. Let's have it right now. Runestone. Right. I guess I can't have it here. I guess I can only eat it at a campfire. Mikuru Asahina. Fudge knows who that is. Right, there we go. Ah, it's loading in a tiny fire. Oh, that. That, that one loaded. Wait, that's an ad. Whatever. I'll click the link afterwards. Thanks, Craven. Sometimes Firefox also opens up in in the default not dark mode for some reason because YouTube... wait did I say Firefox sometimes open? I meant I meant YouTube sometimes opens in the default not dark mode because YouTube and its bugs that come and go they keep finding new ways to surprise me with bugs that I haven't seen before on YouTube For years I've kind of considered keeping a notepad or something full of full of all the different bugs I've encountered on YouTube. But I just never do because I can't be asked because there's no point. Oh, oh no, that's that. Cooking, let's cook the fried egg. Wait, what? What do you mean required ingredients? Did I buy the recipe? I just want to eat the egg. How do I... see for that. Okay, there we go. That does work. It didn't work earlier when I tried it. But maybe I pressed the wrong button or it wasn't equipped then. Oh, what's the point? Oops. Potion? No. What did I buy? It doesn't make sense. Alright, whatever then. That'll do it for that game. Pretty darn cool. Seems like it will be anyway.